fish. Two water. Oh my goodness. There's no more, but not a lot of water. This is just at CVS. That's, that's crazy. I'm up. I'm up at the top. Most of the flashlights are gone. And the radios. I got mine like last week. That's crazy. But, but I got mine early in it, so I'm kind of happy. In Publix. So, as you guys can see, I, actually, I got that last year. Um, yeah. I mean, I got one yellow light yesterday. Just getting these today. That's crazy. The ones put there. And the cans. The cans go. What? And so on Tuesday. It's gonna get worse. I mean, hopefully not hurt anyway, but I, even though it's already at category 5. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. I'm just showing you guys. Yeah, the water aisle is now. It's all gone. It's absolutely gone. Oh my goodness. Cats. Usually there's like a sign I'll say limit like two or three per person. It's all gone. Well, I'm ready. I got mine a week ago, so it was like a strip of hair. <laughs> Did you say about the water? I know it's not. Okay, it's a bare shelf. Um, oh my. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we got ours like last we week. Got ours. And it was oh, actually in here. It was like all on sale. Now it's all gone. Yeah. Okay. And the paper towels are kind of dwindling. And, well, I'll let me show you in a moment. Yeah. Oh, but well, this is sale, so. Sales. And there's also, like, very few uh, paper towels. <laughs> so you gotta keep clean. <laughs> and toilet paper. And grill stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, as you guys can see, um, that was what it was like at CVS. CVS was um, completely, almost completely out of water. There was like some certain waters that they had, especially they had the Perrier, which is the extensive water. But, you know, most people aren't going to be buying Perrier when there's a hurricane. Um, and then we went over to CVS, I uh, not CVS, I'm sorry, we went over to Publix, my local grocery store. And, um, and the reason why we went to CVS was actually for another reason, we went, we got some sodas, because <laughs> I already have waters. Um, but we went over to Publix to get some extra couple things, and, um, I recorded what you guys saw, there was no more waters at all in there. I saw this one guy in line, he had these huge jugs like the kind that you see in the office building then you can just like press the button and get like a little cup of water he had those and they were completely empty so my brain is thinking that he's probably gonna fill them up kind of thing and just like you know for water for you know for a couple days we have enough water I got my water last week and there was like a sale for three for ten so I got that but um plus an extra two cases of water um but I mean I've been watching the storm and I was like, well, just in case, no matter what, like, even if it doesn't come here, it's good to have it. We're in hurricane season, and, you know, no water can't hurt me. I mean, it's, it's water. And, um, and then I also bought, I also bought, like, um, some bat, like, some, I bought a, fla a large flashlight with batteries for that as well. And I did buy, um, a hand crank radio. And it was interesting because, like, if you guys saw, um, like, there was, like, some sort of, like, little canteen, um, battery ones where, like, um, but that's, um,
but for the batteries, I think that the batteries were gone, so no one's going to be buying those little canteen, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> the little lantern ones, and, um, and, you know, anything that, like, is needed for it, there's no batteries n nearby. I bought some batteries, I bought, I, the one that I got was last week, and I also got a hand crank radio, so I can also put it outside, because it's solar charging, um, and I'm happy that I did it last week at least because I've been hearing all throughout Florida that, you know, hearing that water, water is like, it's completely, um, there's no more water in a lot of grocery stores or anywhere. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like, it, it's honestly getting scary for me. Um, I've heard that like one place local to me that there was a fight that broke out at a Walmart, um, it was right near, like, a, a Walmart nearby me, and a fight broke out over water. Over water, you guys. Um, it's terrifying to me right now, because, like, the fact that it's, you know, over water, something very simple kind of thing, and, um, if you're live if you live in Florida as well, um, you know, I, and I remember for last year, they were tell telling us, like, you know, maybe one of the good things is to have is, like, to fill up, like, um, um, to fill up your tub, which is where I'm sitting at right now, um, you can fill up your tub with water, so that way you have some, at least some sort of water kind of thing, um, unless you're gonna sit in there during the storm or something, I, I mean, it depends on what's gonna happen, um, for me, I'm gonna be sitting in the closet the entire night, um, for the two, for the, for Sunday and all Monday, I'm praying hard that it bypasses us. I'm praying that my roof stays put. I'm praying that my home stays put. You know, if we get any damage, I, I, I hope it's minor damage. I'm like, I'm terrified. I don't, I don't want this home. I don't want my home to be so destroyed where I don't know where we're going to go kind of thing. And that's the, that's the scary part for me. Um, I've never like been this frightened before and I've never like, I've, you know, usually on here, I'm always like happy go lucky. I'm always trying to be positive, but right now I'm, it's hard for me to be positive to be honest, you guys, like it, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm honestly very terrified. I'm hoping it bypasses us. I'm praying it bypasses us. Um, that we don't get any of these bad winds. Um, that's all I can do. I, like, I want it to go east. I want it to go far away from us kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I really, I, I mean, I'm afraid, like, even if we have any damage, I don't even know about that is like there's like all my my whole brain is thinking of all these scenarios and I'm like I'm I'm worried about like the roof I'm worried about um you know something breaking where like the roof can fly up or like the the entire um house can be destroyed while we're within like um while we're within the storm and like a tornado or something. I don't know I'm like terrified it's like something scary to me I've I've always been afraid of like storms like I went through Charlie I went through all the storms in 2004 and I went through you know the other storms weren't too bad with Francis um which is like I think was like right after Charlie <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> um it was right after Charlie and I and I remember that one was just like just like gusts and for some reason that one was the one that like our shingles flew off so it was that was weird because Charlie was only here for 35 minutes, which was great. It was fast, but, um, we, we didn't really have too much, um, damage. Our palm tree in the back, um, just kind of went to the side and still like that now. Um, and our uh, above ground pool was like kind of coming off the side. So, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly like, <laughs> it's, it's scary to me, to be honest. It's, I, I don't know how else to say it, but I'm, I'm petrified, I'm terrified, I'm, I'm thinking of what to do, like, I wish I could go up north, but I can't go up north, you know, because it's going to be completely packed, and, um, 
I'm just, I have to pray that and hope that, you know, our, my home will be okay and I'll be okay during the storm. Um, you know, that's, uh, that's all I can do right now. And hopefully you guys will hope the same for us here in Florida. Um, I'm in central Florida and, um, so hope that we are okay in here. <laughs> So anyway, um, thanks for watching, and yeah, um, bye.